The blue sky is blue like blue bubble gum, but it prays to Allah. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulullah. Amma baad, Rabbi shrah li fadri wa yassir li amri wa hul uqdata min lisani yafqahu qawli. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, Isaac Tanwi, welcome all of you with the Islamic greeting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Meaning the peace, mercy, and the blessings of Almighty Allah be upon all of you. Nurturing children and raising them up is really a big challenge for many parents. Many parents are upset and disappointed by the bad conduct and misbehavior and bad answering of the children. But we have to realize one thing, that we reap what we sow. If we sow the orange seed, we cannot expect the apple tree. And if we sow the apple seed, we cannot expect the coconut tree out of it. So we get exactly what we do. So our children's behavior is exactly the mirror image of us. Our children behave inappropriately, that means we have not invested our time appropriately on our children. A teacher asked the kid, what does your father do? The kid replied, mm, I'm not sure what exactly my father does, but I think he makes pens, pencils, uh, light bulbs and toilet paper rolls because that's what he gets every day in his tiffin box. So our children take us as examples, so whatever you do that will be carried that will be carried by our children as example. So we have to set good example for our children. Children find example in teachers, in, 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 in parents, and their elders. So if we present good example before them, then they're going to take that as example. Many of us think that discipline is to take out the belt and beat the child black and blue. Discipline doesn't mean to take out the belt and beat your child. Discipline doesn't mean to keep your child locked up. Discipline is to take the precautionary steps before something bad can happen. Discipline is to take the action before something bad can happen, rather taking the action after something bad had happened. So discipline is the channeling and harnessing of the positive energy in your child. I'd like to give an example of uh, that big animal giraffe. Giraffe gives birth to baby giraffe while standing. So baby giraffe falls directly from the cushion of the mother's womb onto the hard ground. And no sooner baby giraffe falls onto the ground, the first thing the mama giraffe does is to kick it to make it stand. And the baby giraffe tries to stand on its wobbly and weak legs and falls down. And again it tries to stand and falls down, it tries to stand and falls down, and mama giraffe keeps kicking it to make it stand. Because Mama Giraffe knows that the only survival technique, the, the only survival chance in the jungle to save yourself from the predators is to stand on the feet. So if Mama Giraffe shows unconditional love to the baby giraffe, then baby giraffe will be eaten by the predators. So discipline is to take the precautionary steps before something bad can happen. It doesn't mean to beat your child black and blue. To understand the cognizance of children, I made a simple experiment on my little cousin Abdullah Had. He is two years old and he, he tries to speak and he lisps many times, but still he imitates us and it's like children have a clean and blank mind. So whatever you, you, you tease them, whatever you do before them, they take that as example and those things will be imprinted on their minds forever. So if you present good example, they take that in their minds and they grew up with the same thing and if you teach them bad things they grow up with the same thing in their minds and they become bad so to understand this I made a simple experiment on my little cousin I request you to watch it and I hope you'll love that the blue sky is blue like blue Bebo. bubble Bebo. but it prays to Allah like the flavor of the blue sky Bebo. and the bubble gum on We've got to thank Allah before our chances go fast. I don't wanna be a grown up like the grown ups I have seen. Cause the grown ups I have seen don't seem to have much fun. They don't get down on the floor enough to pray or play with toys. When I'm a grown up, I won't wanna be one. Now if I live back at the time.
time of the prophet I know that he would be different I just know he'd find the time And I would make him something special Like some paper planes or something I could race those planes with him Or get a camel back to ride The blue sky is blue like blue bubble gum Allah It prays to Allah 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 It Allah to Allah 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 Talking our way of lying, our way of cheating, our way of boozing, our way of smoking, and everything will be imprinted on the minds of our children. So whatever you do before your child, that will be taken very seriously by your child, and that will be imprinted on their minds. For you have to be very, very careful before getting your child exposed to TV, because TV contains majority of the obscene bits. Even the cartoon series are not free from that. You name any cartoon series, be it Little Mermaid or Aladdin, or Tom and Jerry, or Mickey Mouse Show, anything, these cartoon series contain filthiness and obscenity. For example, uh, Tom and Jerry Show. Even the Tom and Jerry Show shows filthiness, lip-kissing scenes, and all that stuff. And even the Shrek, even Tarzan, Little Mermaid, Jasmine in Aladdin. I mean, all these cartoon series show filthiness and obscenity. So these things will negatively affect the tender and the and uh, the tender mind of our kids. So you have to be very, very careful. Because the people who make cartoons are not fools. They have an agenda in their minds before making the cartoons. They want your child to be the way they want, not the way you want. What I feel is our children need twice of our time and half of our money. They don't need money, they need our time. So if we can focus on this investment, rather the investment of money, then inshallah we can have good generation in future. I hope you like this video and if you have really liked this video then don't forget to click on the like button and don't forget to give your valuable comments. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi So much that we can do for so many who are in need. Give our time, give our wealth, give our love, give ourselves. No Allah sees each and every hidden deed.